that's crazy, man. Because I never knew if that was true or not, you know. Because I always heard that rumor that, you know, R. Kelly, he was singing for inmates in prison. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But what was the issue between you and Benzino? You, Benzino, and Jimmy Hinchman? Benzino, I ain't know. Um, I sat down Benzino. Benzino moved to Miami. And uh, me and Benzino was real cool, be in a club, you know. I caught Benzino one night. I've been coming to Miami for 10, 15 years. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, man, you with me right now tonight. He with Scott Storch. He come to the left and sit down. And I'm like, I tell, I tell my man, fish cool and fish and cool. I'm like, hey, fish, yeah. And pool, I'm like, I tell fish though. I say fish, yeah. Go tell Khaled. I say Benzino old pound, Benzino old pound. So he go. So we start chanting there, Benzino old pound, Benzino old pound. So I'm like, I whispered to him, I just gave you the streets, dog. He blew my phone up four days straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we sat down with Benzino, me, him, and Jimmy Hinchman. And Jimmy is really like, he, he play a tape. Man, look, Eminem said nappy-headed bitch. Nappy-headed black bitch. So Jimmy really looking at him and he like, yo, dude. Leave him alone. That ain't, that's not gonna get it there. He like, man, I'm going with it, man. I'm finna push it out. We like, man, leave him alone, man. You know what I'm saying? And we there trying to talk to, to, to you know what I'm saying? Benzino, man, don't do it, dog. Don't go after him, man. You might suffer, dog. And Benzino really like, you know, he, he's his own man. He took it upon him, did what he had to do. And man, advertisers was dropping on his ass, not right and left, man. You know what I'm saying? And just a little, I remember sitting down with him in, um, on Alton Road and um, on South Beach. Me and Jimmy Hinchman, you know what I'm saying? We sitting with him, talking to him, but he, he had his own mind and he pushed the issue on Eminem and he ain't come out too good on that, man. He lost a lot of advertisers. He had everybody up under his belt. Coca-Cola, Starbucks, bro, they was begging to deal with Benzino and Dave Mays. You know, he took a big L behind that, you know? Yeah, he definitely fed that up, man. But tell me about the book that you got out right now, yo. Oh, man. Man, thanks, man. That, that that's the book. That's that's what I'm on, really, man. Please, man, check it out, man. The Hip Hop Black Republican Party, because today, man, I'm really feeling like you know what I'm saying. We got 92 percent of people, you know what I'm saying, on the Democratic aspect, and you know, we really need to jump over here, you know what I'm saying, on conservatism, because a lot of dudes are independent. They don't want nobody to, to depend on them. You know what I'm saying? They want to really do things on their own, and we at a point where it's like we we in America. And it's 195 nation, and it's like in America, we really watch the Italians get 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 um taken care of, the Irish get taken care of. We watch, you know what I'm saying, the Spanish they taken care of, and it's like, what's up with African Americans, man? When we gonna get looked out for? When we gonna do something that's for us? And I really be on the hip hop Black Republican Party, you know, it's like I'm asking, man, can we go up in Donald Trump, man, and talk to him, you know? The hip hop black Republican party, man, is something that 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 I really wish that you know African American look into and be like, okay, let's try to do something because I don't believe that Jesus did bloods, crip, vice lord, GDs for no reason. I believe it's a reason why it was there, and and you know a lot of people are calling it gangs, but it's a brand. It done made. People in London, it done made people, you know what I'm saying, in Asia, Hong Kong, South Africa, Bloods, Cribs, GDs, Tango Blast, you know what I'm saying, Zoes. And when you look at the issue with a lot of these people, you know what I'm saying, and, and the things that we started, when you got some of these black people that call themselves, they calling them gang, but the black people that's calling themselves revolutionaries that want to help, them dudes that they calling the angels, in California, you know what I'm saying? The businessmen, 
you know what I'm saying? The Rebel Ro Rosa, the, the Rebel Rosa's um, Tango Blast, Growth and Development GDs. These dudes, I was in prison with them. They know the uniform commercial code. They know how they can create a bond for this situation at hand to make a lot of money. They can talk to the Federal Reserve head, Jerome Powell, and do a number issue. I got a homeboy named Jeb. He could do a number scenario in trickle, non, in trickle, in trickle up economics to brand these things and to look for economic reform. Because you know it's powerful because we've seen it within George Floyd. We've seen how Denmark went off, Switzerland went off, Austria went off, Germany went off. All of these 28 nations went off. I'm like, oh my gosh. Singapore went off by George, God bless the dead, George Floyd. White people on their knees like, man, I'm sorry. And I'm not too much in the business no more to tell a white person not to like their skin. I ain't doing it no more. I'm trying to figure it out. But it's as we were supposed to come out with one word. And I couldn't believe how Charlemagne the God had a chance, you know what I'm saying, helping out with one word. And his word was defund the police. I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? Man, you know what I'm going to do without the police there? I was like, man, say economic reform. Man, say economic change, you know what I'm saying, for black Africans. We done made all this noise. You caused the purge, Charlemagne, for damn near three years. Murders are up in St. Louis, D.C., Baltimore, everywhere. This shit ain't the same no more. We got facial recognition, cameras everywhere, and blacks can't be around, niggas can't be around each other no more, man. The coolest thing to do is to kill a nigga. And it's like, man, we need economic reform. They talking about giving aid money, $432 billion. 188 billion, man, why can't we create a certain aspect with bonds and America bring in your city hall, bring your jail, bring in your courts, because niggas going to jail still. That's on them. But we can't keep talking about these 1% of dudes locked up. We want to see this shit now. Y'all printing the money good. These dudes understand Wall Street. Our people's in hip hop are in trucking, man. We need better insurance. We ain't trucking, but we need a Federal Reserve and bond, and we need to play stocks like pawn shops in the hood. We don't need no Black Wall Street one place. That was a great thing, but these dudes actually are sharp. That's all we did in prison. Reading good books, Standing Across the Scratch Line by Guy Johnson. We reading good books, and we talking all this thing, talking about, man, we violent, man, man. That was that, but dudes is mostly at peace because prison was building revolutionaries. But it's as the hip-hop Black Republican Party, things like what Ice Cube had, the Platinum Plan, it's like there's so much aspect of it I really want to push forward because it's as we can't be around each other no more. Go ahead and cut the check. America ain't number 237 years old. Europe is 3,700 years old. Africa is 5,500 5, years old. This is only 13% built. Man, crank this up now. Whoever going to the White House, don't be calling them, man, no goddamn Uncle Tom. Tell them, go get some money. We don't see them do it for every demographic. We just going to sit around, man, in America and just be like, man, I'm trying to kill a nigga. That shit got, that shit got a nigga late, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to be around you either. I don't, I'm not sitting on no crate, man. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of dudes that's pain freaks. I ain't much fucking with them. I ain't finna be talking about them. Dudes get whooped all over the place. I don't want to play that game, man. I'm trying to fall back. But it's as... I'm in America. They talking about they number one on earth. I ain't met a dude yet trying to get deported. Put the program up. Go ahead and clear it. We shouldn't be apologizing to Africa. Africa got to apologize to us. We ain't do none. You did it. The f*** is we were apologizing for? None of their books say, let's go get them. 
Come on, man. This, you know, I'm just, you know. Mm, you know. Them boys at Manchester Park, all of them, man. I was talking to all of them, man. All them boys like, man, <laughs> man, we don't understand the state of, of, of hip hop. We don't understand the state of African American today. They tapping out. They leaving. Guy Fisher, they leaving. They like, I'm not dealing with this. Man, big you, man, I'm gone. I ain't got time for this. I ain't finna be doing all this talking, me. I'm just screaming, man, grab me some money. I'm about to shoot the deuces, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.